All right, hello. I just finished Final Fantasy XIV and Walker today a few hours ago. Tier list time. S A B C D. I might uh, change these things later. So it's in alphabetical order. It looks like Alizé's up first. Alizé's all right. Um, not a lot of my favorites. I'll put her in B. And I'm probably going to be rearranging this up as I go along, as I get like a more firm grasp of what these tiers uh, look like. But Alize is not bad. I, I, I liked her more as I progressed the story. I don't know who this bunny girl is. Um, I'm going to make a new category. How do I do that? Uh, uh, add a row below. This is called the who? These are just for side characters who I don't remember. I, I know who she is. She's from the Raktika Great Woods, but I don't know what her name is. Like, she's fine. She's a she's a bunny girl. You can't hate bunny girls. Alpha is S tier. Alpha's adorable. You can't hate Alpha. His uh, little little story arc is fantastic. Moving on, Alpha No. Alpha No is your little buddy, but he, t he talks about the uh, Crystal Braves way too much. He's kind of annoying. Um, I'll put him at A, though, just to be nice. Alpha No is like more of a character, I'd say, than Alize. Yeah, they're kind of the same. But I like Alpha No more. Al Alpha No's been in the game longer. Not really. They are literally both in the opening cutscene. But Alpha No was with you all throughout A Realm Reborn. Ardbert's, Ardbert's A tier. I feel like people give him S tier, but I didn't care about him until Shadowbringers, at which point he does become a good character. He becomes an interesting character, I guess is the distinction. I don't know if he's really that great, but he does help create one of the best cutscenes of all of all all time. Within Final Fantasy or otherwise, the final fight with uh, Emmett Selk, and then the, uh, he gives you his axe and the theme song begins playing, that's by far the best scene in Final Fantasy. And it's so cool, and it's all thanks to Ardbert. Um, but I didn't really give a shit about the Warriors of Darkness back in Heaven's Word because I didn't really get what they were talking about. <laughs> when Infilia first explains how the worlds were sundered and all that kind of stuff, I was like listening to her like, what What are you talking about? I had no idea what was going on. Um, so that kind of hurt my appreciation for Ardbert's character. But now I think he's cool. Uh, just because I think Shadowbringers is cool. Arnvold is like a... He, he's a good character. He's not great. He's there. Um, he has the same voice actor as Ardbert, actually. That's that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like D's reserved for characters who just kind of suck. And Ar Arnvald doesn't suck. He doesn't do much, but he serves his purpose. Who is this? Uh, I know his name. Artoirel. I guess he's got to go into C. He's not bad. Yeah. This is the tier of just... Yeah, I, I guess. You're not bad. But I feel like Arnvald's better than Artuaro. I don't know. Asahi? <sighs> Asahi is... I'm switching... No, I, I'm, I'm adding another... Another tier. And this is the fuck this guy tier. I hate Asahi so much. Most villains, I feel like, are gonna go in this tier, because I, I don't care for, like, any villain in this game. Emmerich is ya boy. Emmerich's S tier. You can't hate Emmerich. He's, like, your cool older brother. Um, he's so cool he doesn't even get recast after A Realm Reborn. That's how cool he is. Everyone gets, like, super British, and he's just like, no, I'm still the same. Emmerich's great. This is Biggs. Biggs and Wedge are both gonna go in C tier. Because they're not bad, but they just kind of do whatever. L let me find where Wedge is, actually. Here he is. Um, cheating a little bit, but yeah. Biggs and Wedge, same tier. C tier. The Warriors of Darkness, besides Ardbert, they're all going into Who tier. Because I don't care about any of them. Maybe Render Ray will get um, an actual placement, because I... I'm a DPS, so I did the Render Ray uh, roll quests. Um, I didn't. I don't know who Brandon and these losers are, so they're all gonna go in who. I'm sure they're all interesting people. 
Uh, this guy, Ch Ch Chinese, the Chai's. Um, yeah, they're all going in C. They're fine. They did some stuff. They helped build a golem. They helped kill Nikado Avocado. It's a good time all around. Sid goes in B. All of uh, well, mm, Sid's actually a pretty good character. I feel like he's my favorite Final Fantasy Sid from the ones that I know, which is him and then Sid in Final Fantasy 15. Like I I know Sid Highwind in 7, but I never really I never played 7. And I don't know who Sid is in 10. I've played all of 10 and I don't remember who who is that. Yep, never seen this guy before in my life. So Sid's gonna go in, into A tier because Sid does get a lot of good characterization. It's all in the side stuff, like with Omega and uh, the Boja stuff, but it's good, you know. Sid Sid's cool. He has a whole thing. Sir Serena is also A, and this is only because she's adorable. He's the leader of all the tribes now, right? Uh, Colton A. Colton A's cool because he's been around. Colton A. I, I do like him. It feels so cheap to put him on the same level as Alizé. Uh, I do like Colton A, though. He doesn't do anything, but... Okay, I see. Another one of the bunnies. Um, so, I think this bunny was, like, the leader of the Powerpuff Girls, and this is, like, the Bubbles. I like the third one, the Blossom, who is, like, more energetic. She was cool. I, I'll put her in an actual rank. Uh, Dulia Chai. I'm gonna put her in B tier. Because I didn't think I would like her, but, you know, she's the mother from a different dimension that Alphano deserves. You know? She really grew on me. Um, Edmond de Fauton. He's... I want to put him at A, because he's like a really cool dad. But he, he doesn't do anything, so I'm gonna put him at B. But he's still really cool. Pretty much everyone in Heaven's Word, all the little uh, Elizen dudes, like, it's such good writing. Like, by the end of Heaven's Word, you really feel like they're your family. You know, Arshafont, uh, Amon Elaine, you know, fuck Amon Elaine, but, like, you get what I'm saying. Like, that whole... I Ishgar does feel like your home. Is this Hifladeus? This is like an, an alien. Who the fuck is this? Yeah. It is Elidibus. Oh, yeah, because E for... Em yeah, Emmett Selkis next. Okay, so... A little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, I don't know how to feel about a little bit, because all the Asians were boring as shit until Shadowbringers, and then it was just kind of Emmett Selk. I will say that a little bit has a really good voice actor. How he talks is really good. Um, his whole Warrior of Light thing where he possesses Ardbert, that was super cool. Um, so I'll say he's B tier. No one's going into D, so I think I have to separate C and D from, char from characters who just kind of suck. Like, I'll move, I'll move these guys down here to D, because let's say D doesn't mean bad, but it means they don't do anything, as opposed to these guys. I don't really like Biggs and Wedge, though, is the, is the thing. Uh, this is tough. Emmett Selk's an A tier. I wouldn't say S, because I feel like the Asians have been boring for so long that, you know, introducing Emmett Selk and having him drop exposition and make him an interesting character, it's like, it was, it was a bit too late for me. Um, but he does do a good job. I like uh, his stuff in Endwalker, in, in Elpis, because he's just, he's just so annoyed at all times. He's so frustrated, and he's so smug. His default face is like the Cat Meow 3 face, but like he's frowning at the same time. And he's like, how are you doing that? Why, why do you look that way? He looks so punchable. You want to punch this guy in the fucking face. Uh, but he's, he's a good character. Uh, Amon Elaine. I really want to put him into fuck this guy. Old boy. Yeah, he's going into fuck this guy. He's such a twerp. Estinian's S tier. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Estinian's the coolest fucking dude. I started as a Lancer, so I became a Dragoon, so I was introduced to him earlier on, back in A Realm Reborn. And, you know, you get his whole backstory and stuff there. 
and so I was super excited when he was brought into the main story. It was kind of awkward because they act like you don't know who he is, even though I was a Dragoon and didn't know who he was, and they're introducing him, and I'm like, yeah, I know him. I'm also an Azure Dragoon, and they just kind of act like that wasn't a thing. Um, so yeah, Istinian is just so cool. Um, this is also Ardmer. No, wait, no, this this is me. <laughs> this this is me. Uh, I just look just like Ardmer. The e EWJPEG.PNG and WalkerJPEG.PNG. This is myself. I'm gonna put myself as S tier because I'm doing the entire plot. I'm gonna go all the way up here. I'm the warrior of light, I'm the warrior of darkness, I am the savior of Eorzea, I am the liberator of Alamigo and Doma. Uh, savior of the first kind of goes hand in hand with uh, warrior of darkness, and I uh, prevented the final days. I'm seven things. I am the best character. Uh, this is not Asahi, this is Fandaniel, but also this is Fandaniel. So, well, this is Hermes, technically, but they're all kind of, they're, they're the same person. So I'm going to ignore this picture of uh, Fandaniel, and I'm going to use this one, because this is who he actually is. Uh, he is a uh, C tier. Because I hate him. Pretty much every villain in this game, I hate so much. Van Daniel's no exception. He's so annoying. He's like dramatic, which is fun, I guess. But like, he's still annoying. The only reason he isn't going into fuck this guy is because he does have a backstory and he's kind of like, you, 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 you do feel sorry for the guy to an extent. You get what they're going for. He has his whole little researcher thing with Meteon. And yeah, as a person, as Hermes, he becomes C tier. But then er everything else about him just brings him the fuck down. Feo Ul is. She's. She's alright. Or they're alright, I suppose. They're alright. Uh. Flamine. Flamine's going into the Who section, even though I know who she is, but she just stands around and makes you coffee, so. Ferdola? Fuck Ferdola. I, I, I don't care about Ferdola at all. Apparently some people like her, they're, she's their waifu, but like, fuck this chick, she's so annoying. Um, the Levior's father. Fortuno. Uh, I would put him into fuck this guy, but he does get better by the end, so he's going into D. He's actually a better father than Regis in Final Fantasy XV. The parallel between Forshano being told the world's gonna end and Regis being told your son's gonna die for like these prophetic moments. Forshano went goes out of his way to make sure that humanity can survive and he helps build a spaceship to make sure his children survive. Regis learns that Noctis is gonna die and he goes, ah, tough luck, buddy. And then he just he just resigns himself to that. He's like, ah, go off and have a little wedding, get laid, and then die next week. He doesn't do anything to prevent it. He's like, oh, the god said so. So that's why Fortuno is a better dad than Regis. It's sad, but it's true. Uh, this is, uh, Gabu? It is Gabu. Gabu is not a character. They're a plot device. So they're going into D. But they're adorable. So it kind of balances out. Somehow Gaius became like a really good character. Gaius is A tier. Back in the Realm Reborn, I didn't care about this guy because he was just some masked enemy. But then he comes back with a really cool voice and then he gets a whole little side story with like his adopted children and I'm like, oh, this guy is kind of cool. He's actually a good character. I, I like Gaius, A tier for him. Gosetsu. Gosetsu's also A tier because he's a total Chad. Um, he should have stayed dead. My main problem with a lot of Final Fantasy XIV is that they don't actually commit to deaths. Gosetsu's one of them, and it's like he had a good death. He had his whole little story arc with uh, the Dathal tribe, learning about like what souls are about after death, like their whole belief that when you die, you get reincarnated as like a specific thing as a, a specific role 
and Gosetsu wasn't about it, and then he learned about it, and then it kind of like changed his viewpoint on death, and I think that him dying after that, like he was kind of at peace with his death for more reasons than one. But then they brought him back, and I was like, oh, so there was no point to his story arc then, because they're just going to bring him back. And it's like, yeah, it's cool that he's back, but it's like, he should have just stayed dead. Um, he's still an A tier, though. He's still a cool guy. Graha Tia. Graha's an A. I don't have much to say about him. He's just a good character. Um, I don't really care about him that much, though, to be honest. Like, it was pretty obvious that he was the Crystal Exarch, even though they kind of go out of their way to be like, Graha Tia? Who's that? Never heard of him. But then it's like, it's obviously you, dude. Who else could it be? Um, actually, I'm gonna put him in, into B tier. I'm, I'm gonna be mean. He's he, he's way too in love with you. It's like, dude, you need to, like, fucking chill out, man. Like, he's super in love with you. It's, like, adorable, but, like, sad. Hancock? Fuck Hancock. Does anyone like Hancock? Do any of the homies like Hancock? I don't think so. Uh, Arshafont, though. Arshafont's S tier. I'm putting him up here just because he's like the opposite of Graha, where he also loves you, but it's like, it's so cute. <laughs> he's like, ah, warrior of light! And he just, he's so friendly. You can't hate that guy. And he sacrifices himself, which Graha also did try to do, but still, it's different. Arshafon's the best. He ends, uh, AB, I don't know. He, he doesn't do much, but he's so cool. He's very cool. He... I'm really torn. I feel like if I'm putting Graha in the B, I have to put Ian in B. It's like, is he better than Graha? Not really. Um, hmm. He's alright though. Hilda. Can I just make like a waifu tier list where it's like, they don't really do anything, but like, they're hot? Um, I'll put her... D? Is that mean? She, she doesn't do anything. I forget what her significance in the plot was. Like, I, I honestly, I mean, yeah, it's been like almost a year since I went through her Heaven's Word, but still. Who the fuck is this guy? Is this Hori Boulder? Yeah, this, it's Hori Boulder. He's gonna go with Coltane. Actually, he's worse than Coltane. Hori Boulder actually got voiced lines in Endwalker, but Coltane didn't, and I felt robbed. I'm like, they're the two guys, you know? How there's always, like, two guys in every show? They're the two guys, but Coltane didn't get any, uh, voice acting. Oh, well. Uh, this is Horace Belger. Um, I don't really count dragons as people, because I'm racist, I guess. Uh, so I don't really care about dragons. Um, but they're, they're there. I'm gonna put him in who? Because I... It's like, they're not bad, but they're not a character. Hisla Deus is funny. Like, well, during the one dungeon where you team up with him and Emmet Selk and Vina, and you can, like, click on them to get, like, a little voice line. Like, his voice line is so funny. I don't know what it is, but it's just like, I am so excited for this. And he's just not excited at all, and it's really funny. Um, he's, he's, he's C, because he serves his job. Ilbert? Fuck Ilbert. I don't have much to say about Ilbert besides fuck that guy. Uh, this is Kai Shear. D tier. He, he, who cares about Kai Shear? Kane Seno. See, this is what I mean about just make, making a waifu tier. Because it's like... Who cares about Kane Sena? Like, she's hot, but that that's that's about it. I guess C tier. Uh Cryle. Cryle is the only Lalafell that I respect. Um she's still only gonna get a D tier, because I she's still a cringe ass Lalafell. But unlike other Lalafells, she at least has like a cool like vibe. Like her her hoodie's really cool. Her hairstyle is cool, and she has, like, Ella's in ears. I don't know what that's about, but she's the only good Lollifel. But she also doesn't do anything. Uh, who the fuck is this? I feel like I should know who this is. Kurnai? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, the Ruby Princess. I like her. She's C tier. Is this La Habrea? See, it's very hard because none of the Asians have actual faces or designs, which is part of why they sucked ass until Shadowbringers. La Habrea is a fuck this guy because no one likes La Habrea. Uh, another cringe ass Lalafell, Warrior of Darkness, going into Who section. Um, Julius, I think, is her name. No, Livia. Livia Final Fantasy. Livia Sass Junius. That's what I thought Ju Julius was from. She also goes in Who. Uh, this is Lolorito. He goes in the Who section. Louis Swa. He goes in the this, <laughs> he goes in the ridiculous name section. Um, but also Who. Because, act, no, actually, Louis Swa gets boosted up because at the end of Coils of Bahamut. He gets his own fucking CGI cutscene. It's the only CGI cutscene in the game besides the opening credits. And he like turns into a phoenix and then like Gurren Lagon punches through like a meteor or some shit. He's like the coolest man in existence. So he's getting B tier. I don't know who the fuck he is because I didn't play the original game. But just based off of that scene, he's like the coolest man in the universe. Lucia, I don't care about Lucia. She goes in the who section. Uh, Lena. Lena's good. I like Lena. She's a B tier. She like cried a couple times and it was really emotional. Lise. Alright guys, here we go. Lise is my favorite character in the fucking franchise. Not even in 14, just all the Final Fantasy. Lise is best girl. If you hate Lise, you're fucking, you're an idiot. I, I have no respect for you. I have more respect for Lalafels than I do for you right now. Lise is the best. She's the best main character, Scion, because she's the only one who gets an entire expansion devoted just to her character arc. I don't see Alphano get his own Stormblood. I don't see Yashola even getting a character arc. She's just there. Lise got an entire expansion. She got all of Stormblood. Could she have done more? Yeah, she could have helped us fight Xenos. I'm blaming the writers for that, not her. Lise is the best character. She deserves her own tier, actually, but I'm not gonna uh, clutter this up anymore. Um, Magni, I think his name is. Uh, fuck, fuck Magni. It's hilarious how he became like a comic relief character, but yeah. Uh, Matoya. She's like a D tier. She does some stuff, I guess. It's the elephant dude. I do like the elephant guy. Matsya. He goes into C tier. I like him. He's very polite. Maxima is like a who tier. Because like, who the fuck is Maxima? Merlewerb. Merlewerb Lafisifwin. She's a tall pirate lady, so she gets to be C tier automatically. Um, but she's still not that great. She's kind of boring. Meteon! Fuck Meteon. Uh, oh, this chick! Uh, I know what her name is. Maid. Or Mead, I guess? Maid, Mead? I don't know how to pronounce it. Let, let me check. Maid, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, this did not help me at all. Oh, yes, it, yes, it did. Her name is M Mide. Her name's Mide. So I was wrong either way. Mide Hot Go. All right. Well, Mide, I guess. She was cool. She goes into C tier. I don't have any issues against her. Um, Midgardzimer. Midgardzimer really was like, "Yo, I'm gonna take a nap," and then did for the rest of the story. Like. He wasn't even in Endwalker. I thought he was gonna like bust out and wake up and be like, yo, I'm gonna save the day, guys. But no, he, he actually just clocked out. He was like, nah, I'm going home. And that was it. Otherwise, he's kind of cool. I'll give him C tier. He's a dragon I can respect because he actually helped kind of do stuff. Minfilia. Now, if I was just raiding Minfilia's titties, they would get an S tier right off the bat. But this is actual Minfilia who just like kind of like off screens herself and then is gone for like three expansions and then dies again. So you have to wonder what did Minfilia actually do? And the answer is not much. Um, I'm gonna put her in C tier. Uh, I feel like that's kind of rude. But it's like accurate as well. 
Uh, I'll put her in B tier because she has nice titties. That's the only reason. Monago. She has a cool accent. I'll put her in C tier. Uh, Moonbrita? Moonbrita's an S tier character. Like, she deserves to be up there. Um, she showed up, like, saved the day, dies, and then her invention helps continue to save the day for, like, the rest of the story. So she's great. Uh, this is Louis Wa's old man friend from the forum. He's pretty cool. I'll put him in, like, D tier, because he's, like, not a fuck this guy tier. Actually, no, this is where uh, Fortuno is. He goes above Fortuno. He's a C tier. Uh, Nanamo Ulnamo. Cringe ass Lalafell. I'm sorry. Gotta go into, uh. Ugh. I, ne I need to make a tier for cringe ass Lalafell. Um. Okay, I'll put her in D, and then I'll move Cryle up to C to, like, make sure that she's above the other Lalafells. Nero's funny. Uh, he goes into B tier. Because he's just like. <laughs> He's just an asshole who's forced to work with the good guys for like no reason. Uh, Nidhana. She's nice, I guess. Don't really care about her though. Uh, D tier. Nidhog? Nidhog is a fuck this guy. I hate Nidhog. He also came back and I hated him again. Um, this dude, one of the warriors of cringe. Uh, last tier. Who the fuck is this? Omega. Oh yeah, I guess Omega did turn into a person. Or like, you know, a simulacrum of a person. D tier, er, fuck this guy tier. Papalimo, cringe ass Lalafell, D tier. Uh, Pippin, cringe ass Lalafell, D tier. I don't make the rules here, people. Let me lower that. I'm almost done. Uh, Ranjit. Ranjit is actually cool. I didn't think I was gonna like Ranjit, but then he like, turns into a reaper no the first thing he did was when they were when they were escaping with reen from like the castle in in lakeland and he notices that they're far away he like gears up to launch himself he doesn't do it because he gets stopped by thancred i think but he actually like crouches down as if he's gonna launch himself five miles across the forest and you only do that if you're 100 percent capable of doing that this man was way too powerful, so because of that, I was like, yo, this man is really about to whoop all of our asses. He's so powerful, and he was actually pretty powerful. Um, so because of that, he's going in A tier, because that was the most impressive like feat of strength that he didn't even get to show. Ralbon? <laughs> Ralbon's an S tier, because Ralbon literally cut a man in half. That was the rawest thing I've seen anyone do in this game. So Robon deserves to be an S tier. Um, you know, he's still friends with Nanamo and I hate Lalafells, but he himself, uh, he's badass. Uh, who the fuck is this? Regula. Regula sounds like Courage the Cowardly Dog's computer, but like he had a cool little death in like a side story. I'll give him a C. Renda Ray. Renda Bay. She's the only warrior of darkness who's not going to go in the who section. She's going to go in B. Because she's a cat girl. And you have to respect cat girls. Reen has a fun little story arc. I don't know if she's A tier, but she's like B tier. She's cool. Sadu is... Sadu's just really loud and annoying, but hot. I'll put her in C tier. But she's very annoying. Uh, Soroban. Soroban's cool. I'll put him in C. He becomes like a deity or something at some point. Tataru. Cringe ass Lalafell. Uh, Chaleji Adaleji actually fucked this guy. Uh, t <laughs> Tesleen. It's Tesleen, everybody. I'll never forgive them for what they did to this pure innocent woman. They really just. Her little story is sadder than anything. In Endwalker, anything in any other expansion, uh, Tesslene <laughs> didn't deserve that. It was so sad. Um, I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna put her in A tier because she made me really emotional. 
Uh, Thancred is a father. Shadowbringers was the angry Thancred story arc. Uh, but he's gonna be B tier. Because he's cool. Apparently in the, um... Like, there's like a cookbook that came out that has like all the, all the recipes from Final Fantasy XIV. And they're all like narrated by Namazu or other whoever's like Moogles and stuff. And for one of the entries that I saw posted, it says that Thancred just goes to uh, the hot springs in Upper Lenosha. He just goes to the hot springs and just like sits there depressed some days. And I'm like, that's sad because <laughs> I can see him doing that. Just getting some beer, going to the hot springs, just... <sighs> Infilia. His life sucks. King Thornton? Fuck this guy. Actually, fuck this man. Um, I don't- oh yeah, this is the other bunny girl, the one who was like, fun. Um, she gets to be C tier, cause I like her. She was- so, it was- it was- this is Blossom, that's Bubbles, this is the buttercup of the bunny sisters. Uriange is hilarious. Uriange is S tier, he can't help but like, betray the main characters at any turn. And he's so funny, his style of speech is so annoying. But he's like the only scion who I like. He's just real funny. Like, accidentally funny, but still. Varus is like an actual non-character. Like, you fight him once in a side story, in the Bozia side story. And then you fight like his demon form in Endwalker, and it's not really the same. Nikado Avocado is... fuck this guy. Like, literally, fuck, like, he's, he's, he's terrible. He's the worst. Uh, Vena. Vena's fun. She's a C tier. Who is this? Vritra. Vritra's a dragon, so she, she goes, he, go, he, he goes in the who section. Yotsuyu? Yotsuyu? I would put her in fuck this guy, but her backstory's kind of sad, so I'm gonna put her in D tier. Because I, I liked the little arc where she was, like, amnesiac and kind of a good guy. But also, this goes back to what I was saying about Gosetsu, in that they just refuse to kill off characters. Within the span of, like, five quests, Gosetsu, Xenos, and Yatsuyu, and, like, Asahi all came back at multiple points. Like, yeah, Xenos was actually a little bit, and then Asahi was Fandaniel, but still, Xenos actually came back anyway. And it's like, why? Why kill off Gosetsu and Yotsuyu and then bring them both back for like a worse story arc? Like, I just 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 kill your villains. Like Gaius didn't even die. Nidhogg didn't die. He came back and then you had to kill him again. Can you kill your villains? Emmett Selk didn't even die. What's happening? Please. Azale's a good character. Azale's A tier. Azale's great. Yestola's like a B tier. Cause she doesn't like she's there. I I like her. Her more now after I finished everything because I got used to her but she doesn't have like an arc or like anything she's just kind of annoying and then she's just like helpful but I I don't care there's a point at the end of Endwalker where Heidelin is like talking to each of you and congratulating you I guess on your development on like out what Alphano has been through what Thancred has been through what Oriange has been through when she got to Yeshtola I was like what is she gonna say to Yastola? Cause she didn't have a story arc, she's just been around. And then she talks about how like, Yastola's, you know, yeah, pra praising her for her pursuit of knowledge and reading books and stuff. And I'm like, I guess, you were just kind of, you know, skimming the bottom of the barrel here for compliments for her. But, she's not bad, she just doesn't really do much. You giddy? Yugiri as well. She didn't do anything. I was upset that Yugiri and Hien weren't in Endwalker at all. For like, you know, the grand finale, the culmination of this entire story arc from A Realm Reborn to now. I thought they were going to have every character show up and do at least one thing. But then they didn't. And so, kind of sucks. I don't really care about Yugiri that much, but she's a good character. Xenos is... Xenos... Xenos deserves his own tier of oh, fuck this guy. Because I cannot exaggerate how much I hate Xenos. The fact that the finale of this game is you like, you know, JRPG nonsense, you fight God, save the universe, and then fucking Xenos shows up, and he's like, 
Now I'm here. We are going to fight because I love combat. And I'm like, why are you here, Xenos? I killed you two expansions ago and you've just been annoying. You didn't do anything all of Endwalker. There was no reason for you to be revived. Literally no reason. Why are you back? Why did they bring him back? It boggles my mind how he could even be a thing. But yeah, he's the final fight of the entire series and it makes no sense. I say of the of the whole series, but there's gonna be more, but you know what I mean. Xenos is just the worst. I hate Xenos with like the burning passion of a thousand suns. As much as Xenos loves the main character, that's how much I hate him. Uh, Ulyss. I don't know why this is not an ABC order anymore. Ulyss is D tier, because <laughs> he's not terrible. He's there. And Gaia. Gaia is an A tier. The worst thing that this game did was they made this concept art for her, and I was like, damn, this chick's hot. And then you play the game, and it's like, oh yeah, she's like 14. And I was like, I was like, that's not a 14 year old, guys. Come on, don't. <laughs> but I'll put her in A tier. I like her design a lot. She reminds me of Shoka from The World Ends With You. Um, so yeah, apart from that. So this is the definitive list, um, tier list of Final Fantasy XIV. I think this is, it's pretty comprehensive. It, it's missing, uh, you know, side characters like uh, Mikoto from the Boja and the Ivalice stuff. She would be an A tier. Um, and then other Asians like, you know, Nabri Alice and Iga Yorm and, you know, people who don't matter. Um, yeah, I think this is more or less all the, all the main characters, at least. According to this, my favorite characters are Lise, myself, Alpha, Emmerich, Estinian, Arshafont, Mumbrita, Ralbon, and Uriange. I don't think that's accurate to my favorite characters, but it's accurate to who are the best, I guess. Because I feel like Gaia would be in my favorites, just based off of her like design. I'm gonna move Azale up and Ralbon down. I'm gonna move Serena down to B. I'll move Gaia up. I do think Gaia's S tier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. I think that's a solid top 10. I mean, the only ones that I really would say are in my top 10 for sure are Lise and Astinian. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty solid list. So yeah, thanks for watching.